Hello, I signed up to be a pattern tester. I thought it would be fun to take you on this journey, my journey into testing a pattern. Game plan for tonight, night one, is really just to cut out and hopefully like assemble the, the pattern pieces. Fabric wise, I have this very fun floral fabric that I bought uh, to be the lining in the first coat that I made but I decided I didn't want to use it as the lining for the coat because I thought it was too pretty. Uh, although in retrospect, I actually, I kind of wish that I had, I kind of wish I had used it as the lining for the coat, but it's fine. I'm using this both because I think it will actually be cute in the, the sort of, you know, finished shirt design. And also because I have quite a bit more yardage than I actually need <laughs> for this pattern. And I feel like if I, you know, mess stuff up or whatever, it'll be nice to like have extra fabric um, at the ready to fix, to fix all of my mistakes. I started this like in the middle of the week at the end of the work day. And that was a bad idea because like I have not had the energy to actually sit down and work on this. Anyway, it's now the end of the week, it's Friday. I have nonfiction book club this weekend. By the time you're watching this, it's already happened. I have to finish the book. Anyway, plans for tonight are to cut out all of the, the pieces of the fabric. My like overall goal for today is to have all of the like actual fabric cut in done. Minimum goal is that I want to get the, the pattern pieces cut and then I would like to also cut the strips of fabric that I'm going to use to make the bias tape for the strings. I feel like a theme of my sewing vlogs, both the ones that I've already done and like everyone that I will ever do is at some point me saying, I'd really like to get all of these things done tonight, but I don't know, we'll see. And then like not getting to whatever the extra things on that list are. Like, I don't know why I say to myself, the minimum threshold is X, but I'd really like to do Y because I will never do Y. The minimum threshold is is X. And honestly, sometimes I won't even do that. Sometimes I will be like, no, I'm tired. I'm going to bed now. All of that to say <laughs> that I did not cut the bias strips last night. Today is Saturday and yet I am once again starting pretty late. The day is gone. The day is gone and it's uh, eight o'clock. <laughs> I guess that's earlier. That's earlier than I have started on previous nights. So progress. I am honestly not sure what the first steps are like, what I have to do. Um, I have to look at the instructions, but I do know <laughs> that the deadline for me to complete all of my duties as a pattern tester is tomorrow. I'm not even gonna attempt to lay out a, what I would like to get done tonight because whatever I say would be wrong. Hey, hi, hello there. I lied. I'm not actually gonna cut the bias strips because I, that uh, just feels like a lot of extra work. And for what? Why, for why? I mean, it would be a little bit cuter. But also, okay, here's the thing. Because the ties, I assume, will be, you know, like one of the last things that I do, it seems like the kind of thing that will be pretty easy to replace. Like if I make this shirt and I use ribbon for the ties, and then at the end, I'm like, oh man, I wish that I had made, like I had made the, the done the bias strips, like done it with the fabric that the rest of the shirt is made in. It won't be that hard to like double back and do that, but also, I have to have this done tomorrow. <laughs> and it just feels like a lot of extra work that I don't necessarily need to do, you know? So I'm not going to. It is now 11 o'clock and I think I'm ready to call it for tonight. I um, attached and surged the back and front pieces together at the sides and I cre I gathered and then sewed down the, uh, the, the channels for the elastic. I'm real sleepy. Looking ahead in the instructions, the next step 
is to iron the hem, not actually sewing it down, but just pressing everything while it's still nice and uh, two-dimensional um, before everything gets attached and it gets a lot harder. Tomorrow, I gotta attach it at the shoulders. Oh, put the elastic in um, and press the hems under. And then I guess it, you know, attach the sleeves. Uh, and then I got a, oh, the, how it closes. There are two options. There's like a button loop and then there's the tie front. I think I wanna do the tie front, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. That's a tomorrow thing. Uh, now I'm gonna be done. It's a new day. Uh, yesterday I used up basically all of <laughs> my remaining um, white bias tape. So I have to go to the store to buy more. And I might also buy some like gold ribbon <laughs> while I'm at it um, to use as the ties. Okay, let's go. Breakfast. Wow. I had it in my head that I was gonna really take you with me on my little uh, shopping journey to pick up um all the things that i need but i gotta say i don't think i'm feeling that bold buy a state ribbon ribbon the spools of ribbon were like three bucks a pop so i was like all right i'm just gonna get two different kinds and that way i will definitely have one that i like and that works i mean i say definitely i don't know maybe i'll hate both of them We'll find out. Many hours have passed since I checked in in the car uh, because I also had to go to Lowe's to pick up some screws and washers for a project involving these chairs that I'm currently sitting in. I intended to like put that off. That was like not gonna be a today project. That was just like, while I am out of the house, I should do all of my being out of the house errands, activities, whatever. Anyway, uh, I got home and I was gonna get back to, immediately back to work on the shirt because it has to be done today. Like it has a deadline of today. Uh, they sent out an email to the pattern testers too with like, here's the little survey that you're supposed to fill out. Uh, and I'm like, okay, cool. I will fill it out once I fucking finish doing the thing. But then I proceeded to get d distracted by so many other things, every other thing in my home. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's ADHD. <laughs> which she's also born with. So, you know, she's she's born with it. But I made it. I'm in my little office sewing room. I have a uh, bias tape and some ribbon to use for the, the ties. And I have my comfy pants on. I just did a quick scan of what steps are left. And it's a lot of individual steps, but I don't think any of them are gonna be all that time consuming. Like I think the gathers and putting down the bias tape is probably the lot, like the most time consuming individual step on this list. Uh, we'll see, watch me be proven wrong. That's, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't, I should not have said those words out loud. We're gonna find out what takes a long time and what doesn't. Uh, I have to press the hem on the all the all the hems press all the hems um and attach it at the shoulders and put the elastic in to this is like the channel where the elastic will go <sighs> and then it's on to all the steps involved in the the closures the front closures which i don't really know what those are at least today i actually have to finish it there's no like i can't like, this is it deadline I made some very silly mistakes, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, it's fine. For some reason, assumed that there was gonna be elastic going through the bodice. There is not elastic going through the bodice. I made that up. I just invented that that was happening. So I did a lot of work for that that was unnecessary. I put the elastic in the sleeves though, uh, sewed those down surged the seams, so those are ready to go. Pressed the hems um, on, on all the pieces. That also took an exceedingly long time just because I prefer to stitch and press. So like sew a, a line, like sew down a quarter inch 
from the edge and then use that as the fold to press rather than just pressing it. Hems are all pressed. Sleeves are basically assembled. Looking ahead, I think the next thing that I have to do is attach the sleeves to the bodice. And then um, it's working on the closures, working on the little tie front closures. There's a picture of an iron on the screen. I'm ironing something. Okay, I'm gonna go eat dinner and then uh, come back, you know, whenever I come back. Okay, I'm super stoked because I was just looking at the instructions right here. I'm not really sure what you can see, but that's my monitor where all the instructions are. This next step is like preparing the stuff for the ties, but there's like two sort of different instructions baked in this one step. And um, if you choose bias tape, there's like stuff you have to do to prep the bias tape in order to turn it into the ties. But if you choose ribbon, all you gotta do is cut the ribbon to be the right sizes. So. I'm just really excited. Plot twist, I'm already regretting my choices because I need a more basic kind of ribbon. Like I really, I just need a very, very simple ribbon for this purpose. Um, I didn't spend a ton of time looking at ribbon and uh, you know, that maybe <laughs> was my, my downfall here. I just realized that I have a better solution uh, and that is to just use the bias tape that I just bought as ribbon because that's the other option, literally in the instructions. Um, and this is a good option because of the fact that, you know, I already have the white bias tape on the shirt, um, the front, and then here it is on the sleeves. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, so given that, it's probably for the best that we are incorporating more of the white bias tape into the shirt. And I know I just said the thing about it being more work, and while that's still true, it's honestly not that much more work. It's just a matter of like folding it and stitching it down, uh, folding it, pressing it and stitching it down. So it should take me like 10 minutes. It's fine. It's all gonna be fine. Oh my God. It is 11.55 and I'm done. I am genuinely just so shocked that uh, I got it done before midnight. Like I really did not think that I, could do it, uh, especially because I kept messing things up. <laughs> like I kept having all these silly mistakes and all of these things that made everything take longer. She's all done. I did it. So I finished the shirt, uh, I did the little survey, I sent pictures. That's all happened. If you, so if you make things, I would highly recommend um, checking out Herbaccia, I think it's the name of the studio, Herbaccia Studio. Um, and this this shirt pattern in particular, I, I have found it generally delightful to work with. All of the places where I made mistakes <laughs> were 100% user error. Like I went back to look at the instructions and it was very clear what I was supposed to do. I am just a dingus who, you know, uh, doesn't read things, who just forges ahead. My couple notes on that, if you're considering buying this pattern and using it. First of all, um, Victoria said that in the final version of the pattern that's like actually gonna be released and on sale, uh, the, the neckline is gonna come up a little bit higher so that it can be worn by itself more readily. Like it was meant to be worn sort of layered like this. Related to that though, I think that I chose probably a much lighter fabric than was intended. I mean, not like terribly so. I don't think this is meant to be a super heavy cardigan or anything like that, but um, this is a super light fabric. Like I originally bought this with the intent to use it as a lining fabric. The only major thing that I would do differently, like if I could go back, run it back to the top and like make this all over again, is that I would have chosen a colored bias tape. I would have brought this fabric to the store and found either like a pink or a green or something uh, that matches the, the the colors in the shirt. All around a solid experience. It was really fun um, to test a pattern. I don't think that I was a particularly useful pattern tester though. I didn't have a ton of feedback. Anyway, I have been rambling for uh, like 20 minutes. Hopefully you only saw like two of those minutes. And at this point, I have nothing else to say.